My name is Miguel. I am 20. I am from New Zealand, Michigan, and I got a second chance at life. He played football in high school. He just was always wanting to go out with his friends. He's constantly telling stories and jokes. He's really good with kids and loves spending time with his younger cousins who call him the life of the party. I like to go hunting, go fishing. He likes to go grocery shopping with me, play games. He likes cooking at home. On the morning of April 28th, 2016, Miguel was driving to a friend's house in his red Pontiac Sunfire to talk about the new factory job that he was supposed to start that day. He was passing the highway and a semi was coming off the ramp, passed the stop sign, failed to stop, and Miguel got pinned under the semi. I don't remember much of the car accident. Apparently I'm supposed to be decapitated. <sighs> the vehicle, you can't even see that it was a vehicle. No, it looks like it was a convertible. He arrived at Butterworth Hospital in critical condition due to severe traumatic brain injury, multiple facial fractures, and respiratory failure. They told me he would wake up um, but they weren't sure how much it would be, he would be normal again. He spent 28 days in a coma fighting infections, blood clots, and swelling around the brain. All they could tell me is that he could be, have disabilities. When he finally awoke from his coma, he was a shell of the person that he used to be. Three weeks later, he came over to Spectrum Health Rehab. So when Miguel first got to rehab, he essentially couldn't move at all. When he tried to stand up, his knees would buckle and he'd begin to fall. Even with two people holding him up, taking a step was impossible. I couldn't grab certain things because of my having discoordinated. I would ask him a question. He would just nod sometimes, yes or no, but no, no voice. His affect was very flat. He didn't show much emotion or personality. He had very minimal movement in his right arm. It was very difficult for Miguel to keep memory of new things. The left arm was not moving at all. Um, it took two people to get him sitting at the edge of the bed. Um, he was very unsteady and very unpredictable. It was awful because you're, you know, he's 20 years old and here you're thinking, okay, you've already raised him and now again you're going to start all over like when they're babies. When we first started getting him up in body weight support with physical therapy and occupational therapy working together, it was like a light bulb went off and he suddenly started to realize what his body was physically capable of doing. He began answering simply yes no questions, responding to his name. As Miguel progressed with his standing, it actually helped to get his arm function started as well. It was very fortunate that we had the Rift and Tram in our facility because that was a key part of his rehab process. By pushing through his wrists, through his arms, through his shoulders, he was able to feel those movements and get back into the rhythm of walking. It was great to see him moving around. I learned how to balance, how to walk, how to talk, and how to think. We even got to the point where we got to go into the kitchen and make one of his favorite meals. We walked outside over uneven surfaces and slopes. He was able to stand up, walk out of here, take a shower by himself and get dressed. He could go up and down the stairs by himself. He used his sense of humor. He made eye contact when he talked. He would smile. You can't shut him up anymore. <laughs> He's like always talking. Miguel's story is very inspiring because when he came to us, he essentially couldn't, couldn't do anything. We had no idea what kind of progress he was going to be able to make. And when he left, he was able to tell us what his hopes and dreams were for the next five years. He can now start thinking about driving, returning to school, returning to work. Watching the transition from being completely dependent to leaving at a modified independent level was was really cool to see. He wasn't even using a cane or a walker anymore. We think everything is wonderful here. They, they have brought the best out of him. And they're really good. They're all smart. They have common sense. They're all determined. Even now seeing him come back and visit with us, he's definitely full of personality. The nurses are good too, and my experience is good. Miguel, you had a horrible, severe brain injury, and you made an excellent recovery. Good luck going forward in your future. I know you've already passed your functional capacity evaluation and you're looking forward to going back to work. We're so happy you did so well. Thanks for working so hard while you were here. I think that we're gonna see him go places and do a lot of great things. My name is Miguel and I am Spectrum Health.